BBC Radio Bristol. John Darvel. That saying, there is a book in all of us, but writing one, there's a thing, getting it published, there's another thing. And what about a follow-up, a second book? Do we have that? Many don't. And that's something that our next guest has done. Hebrew, Hebrew Young from Kingswood, um, was inspired by movies and TV programmes such as The Godfather and Sopranos for the basis of his first book. And after initially drafting a few chapters, he has now written another one. Two years on from first meeting him on the publication of his first book, Hebrew is back with us. Good afternoon. How are you? Good afternoon, John. Thanks for having me again. No, it's no. good to see you. You too as well. I can't believe... That it was a couple of years ago that we first met. Time flies. Um, yeah, it's all a blur now. But yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Good, I was sat I'm here glad to hear it. You were, you were sitting exactly where you're sitting right now. Yes. So th- th- let's just re- remind people of your story. Because being an author, like many authors, is not it's not something that you set out to do because it's something that is within you to do. It's not, when I grow up, I'm going to be an author. And it you sit there with a blank piece of paper and a pen and go, right. What am I going to write? Um, the, you, you come from a, 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 an IT background, don't you? A technology I do, background. I do. I come from IT, and I've been doing that for more years than I can sort of remember. Mm. And um, I enjoy technology. Um, I'm a bit of a geek. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, still in the IT industry now, actually. Right, OK. So I'm doing that as well as writing books. <laughs> so where did the creativity of writing come from? Um Probably from watching too much telly. Um, okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> and, so you come home film. from work, you then plough your way through a box set or plough your way through a series? Yeah, or... yeah when, when, when the little ones have gone to bed, you yeah. know, um, get on TV, stream YouTube, watch a movie, mm. you know, watch TV series and that, that kind of thing. But I've been, obviously, grew up watching, you know, a lot of sci-fi um, Godfather, Goodfellas, as you mm. mentioned. So yeah, I'm. I'm I consume so what are you a lot into at the moment? What are you watching at the moment? That 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 is the sort of thing that gets your mind working. What mm. what are you watching at the mm. moment? So I try to not get influenced. That I, I try not to get too influenced by what I'm watching. Yeah, but it's kind of difficult. But yeah. at the moment, I'm currently going through the. Um, 50 Cent produced BMF. Right. And um, I think it's the Power series. And Mm. it's sort of, you know, gangs, drugs, cartel sort of thing. Yeah. And it's like a, you know, sort of modern modern twist on previous genres like, you know, like The Godfather and Sopranos and stuff like that. So it's it's got a bit of a There's a reason I asked the question, uh, Hebrew. It's about creativity breeds creativity, doesn't it? It does. It does. Is that if you surround yourself in, in art and you read books and you watch movies and you... You talk to other creative people, you will get stimulated, and and yes. from that, an idea that may come, f- may come directly from that, or it may come later, and you go, oh, that's something I could work with. No, definitely, I'd be lying if I said that. You know, movies and film and just you know conversations with people does not influence you know us creators. It definitely does. Mm. Yeah. So you've written, you, you wrote your first book, which I thoroughly enjoyed. Thank um, you. Really did enjoy. It did enjoy it. Um, that. That, that works on the very basic principle of there's a book inside of all of us. Um, there is the discipline of writing it, and then, yeah. <laughs> there is, yeah. which is always a tricky thing. Especially and then there when is a dis- full time job. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because, you know, it, you, you want to be in the right frame of mind to do it. Yeah. And probably at the end of a working day. Not so easy. It's not so easy. Yeah. But then you've now written the follow up. And that took a couple of years. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was going to be quicker. But again, the nine to five and other areas of other aspects of life sort of gets in the way, doesn't it? So When, when you say it took a couple of years, was that because of it, it was harder to write or no. it was just time, time, family, ev- yeah. everything, finding, was, a, finding a hole? Yeah, it was literally just finding a hole, time. Um, the book basically got written on a, every Saturday. Um, I would go away, go to my in-laws mm. and write a chapter, maybe two, and then proofread it and then move on back to pa- back to the home life with the kids and the yep. wife and all that. So, yeah, it's just it's just down to time. That's why it took so long. So that comes with sacrifice, doesn't it? It does. It does. Um, I write in my head a lot as well. Right. So, so when I actually get to sit down, I'm literally just unpacking what's going on right. in my head. So to write a chapter or two... And to write and then proof, is that hours? 
days? Are you constantly twiddling with... I mean, it's like painting a picture, isn't it? I don't yeah. know any artist, how, how any artist arrives at a picture and go, right, that's that done. I don't, need to, done. I don't need to touch it again. I don't need to ever put a brush or a palette knife on that picture. Yeah. I, can it ever be done? Um, so with the first book, yeah. I went through, like I think, the first six chapters. I kept writing and rewriting and rewriting. No, that doesn't go well with that and mm-hmm. so on and so forth and it just got to it got to the point where i just had to tell myself like look you need to crack on and you know let the editors do that work mm. so um yeah so all i do now is i would write a chapter or two that would be maybe three hours mm. four hours maybe proofread it and move on so the editing then comes later i'll let someone else edit how easy is it to hand over your creativity that you've sacrificed time yeah. and that you haven't seen your family and your kids and they've yeah. understood and you've gone to the in-laws and you've locked yourself away and then you take what you've written that you've proofread that's been written in your head that's mm-hmm. quite personal mm-hmm. and you hand it to somebody else who goes yeah i like that but i don't like that and that's got to go and that needs to be rewritten mm-hmm. that, i don't know how do you handle that um I think I'd like Your to... Your face ha- was very different <laughs> today. <laughs> no, I handle it really well. Yeah. Um, so in my career as an IT, um, as an IT professional, you know, you'll get criticised and then you'll have your one-to-ones and then you, you know, you, you get feedback and that yes. sort of thing. Yes. So, um, and that sort of translate, it translates into the world of writing for yeah. me as well, especially because, believe it or not, I'm still, I'm still, I'm still new to this. So this is only my second book. So I don't feel like I know it all. I mm. don't think. In fact, I still suffer from a bit of imposter syndrome, to be honest with you. So, and I'm, I'm like my own biggest cri- um, critic, to be honest. So yep. it's, it's. I take on board what people are saying, and if I feel strongly about something that I don't want to change because I want a certain message, you know, sort mm. of communicated in a certain way then I'll stand my ground. Mm. But I'm always welcome to feedback and I'll change things if 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 it makes sense, especially if it's like plot holes and big issues like that, obviously. Because sometimes you, as, a, as a writer, any creative, a painter, you're too close to it yeah. to see that there's yeah. errors. I get asked about this programme, how was the show? My answer is always... I have no idea. The show's I was too great, big. I, that's very kind of you. Uh, it's the right answer. Thank you. I'll pay you later. But I always say I have I, no idea. I was too busy doing it because I'm doing it. I, I, I can't. Yeah. I can't be a critic of myself because no. I'm too busy doing it. No. So I just wonder within that creative process, when you hand it over, mm-hmm. or when you hear a critic has read it and they they read something, well, they say something that you didn't expect or that you didn't see when you wrote it, or, heaven forbid, Mm -hmm. they're very critical of it. Mm -hmm. That has to be personal, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, I I don't take it personal. Um, Again, I'm still new at this, Mm. so I still feel like I'm learning and I have a lot to learn. So um, there's there's been feedback from the first book, and I sort of had to just... I can't think of any examples. No, 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 don't worry. But there's been feedback on the first book that I've taken on to the second book and then sort of done things differently. Um, so so what, what have you done differently this time? Because, you know, whether you're a, an author writing the second book or you're a pop star with a difficult second album, which, you know, you had a big, you've been a big success and you, you, you know, you put it out there and people have gone, yeah, I like this, I re- you know, I, mm-hmm. I'd like to know what happens next. Mm-hmm. But that's got to come from you. Yes. So you've got to write what happens next. Yes. yes. And then you've got to put it out there. That's that's quite a leap, isn't it? Because, of course, people have expectations now. Indeed. Indeed. I over think- and above what they've already read it's true and there's so much out there at the moment to compare it to so and i think for me um what i probably would have changed this time around is to put myself more in a reader's perspective as a reader and it's hard to do Mm. when you're the one who's written the work and you just try to think of anything that you might have left out or okay if you read something back to yourself how does that sound okay and um so I suppose that's the difference between perhaps you attach to a character and you're the shadow of that character as they weave their way through the story, or you're the voyeur, you're watching this play out in front of you, mm. Mm. and you're vested in the various characters as they go through what they do, 
to reach the conclusion of the book, as it were, or not. Maybe, yeah. you know, I, you I leave the door very, open for book three. Yeah, I'm very removed from the characters. Mm. Um, this book is the conclusion, by the way, okay. of, of the saga. I mean, this is revenge, isn't it? So so with this, yeah. it's, it's, it's the revenge sort of, without any spoilers, yeah. the revenge sort of happens earlier on in book one. Right. And what you see in book two is the sort of consequences, you know, you watch the dominoes as they fall as a result of that one action that happened in book one, and it goes on and on and on. So, literally, book two picks picks up from where book one stopped. Oh, I can't wait to read it, because I really enjoyed yeah, book one. It, and here's, here's the thing about your writing, is it you, you, you sort of you sort of fool us <laughs> um, <laughs> as readers yeah. because we think we you think well I don't know what's going to happen in three pages time and no, no. you 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 can and often you turn it on its head yeah and that makes you go all oh, right okay fine well okay and then you you do it again and then you do it again and then <laughs> we expect you to do it again and then you don't yeah, you, yeah. you're very clever the way that you. It's Avoid quite, the cliché. Does that yeah, make sense? I, I think my writing is very unorthodox. It and, is. And, part I, of the, and that's a good thing. Yeah, thank you. Part of the reason for that is I did want to be different intentionally from other authors, mm. okay? And one of the things I sort of... Um, one of the approaches I took was, okay, I want this book to be easily translated to film mm. and or TV. Mm. And when you watch TV and films now... A lot of the new sort of series, they sort of surprise you. The surprises are coming from all over the place. And you're like, wow, I didn't expect that mm. character mm. to do that. Or I didn't expect that character to fall or die. It or... was Game of Thrones that really set this apart, wasn't it? Yeah. That it didn't matter how big they your name was. Yeah. How, 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 it didn't matter whether you were a big name actor they or what happened. They would kill you. you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bang, gone. And think, hang on a minute. That's Charles Dance. You can't know, kill yeah. Charles Dance. Yeah. But you, but, I was but, one of those viewers that was a bit annoyed about that, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but because he was brilliant. And he's a brilliant actor. And I, I had the pleasure of meeting him a few years ago. And he's, he's a lovely man, but he's scary. <laughs> um, I mean, you meet him, woo. But that nothing is sacred nothing is safe no, i try to not hold on to too much and i'm so removed from the characters and every character is doing exactly what they're supposed to do with mm. no personal agenda there isn't one me. that you prefer over and above another no. or there's one that you think well no. i can't get rid of him or her because they've got to be at the no. end the story wins every time for me and i'm quite detached from my characters well, it's taken you two years to write it. When's it launched? When's so it launch? It comes out, the sequel comes out April April 4th. 4th of April, it says here, yeah. 4th yes. of April. So it's under a new imprint, Consumer Book. Yeah. And um, the first one is already out there. Again, under a new imprint. In fact, we've had a sort of cover refreshed, as it were. Okay. For the, for the first book. So it'll look slightly different if anyone looks on Amazon. It's available, it'll be available on Amazon, and it'll be available um, as a box set. Mm. exclusively on consumer book. Okay, so this is Success, Opulence and Power, Volume 2, mm -hmm. subtitle Revenge, mm -hmm. although the, revenge, so the, 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 the sub, revenge happened in one. Yeah, so the subtitle is... Um, so the first title now yeah. has its own subtitle because yeah. I've, we've got a sequel now. Yeah. So the first, um, the first one for Volume 1, it's Success. Okay. That's the subtitle. Right. For Volume 2, it's Opulence and Power. So opulence and power, right. So Okay. Yeah, so success sort of takes you through the main character's life and what he considers success to be. Now, moving on along with volume mm. two, you then get to see, as a result of that quote-unquote success, yeah. you get to see how that turns into, you know, this sort of great opulence and how he uses that opulence and his success to, to sort of um, wield his power, so... So that's where the, the sort of su subtitles come from. Well, um, you can put on the back of the book of this, because uh, I'm ready yet, but I look forward to it. Um, <laughs> are you, I, I will give you the quote, deliciously unpredictable, because, it, <laughs> because that's what your writing is the first time. Oh, it is brilliant. deliciously unpredictable. That will be uh, on the cover. But thank you. Help you. Yourself. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, 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 I thank you for coming in. And I think it's, it's, it's fascinating, because accepting, you know, success, the two books, the second one published on the 4th of April, it is a story also about making the commitment to do something that you've always wanted to do that comes at a cost. Yes. 
comes at a cost of a Saturday away from your family. It comes yep. at a cost. You've got to think about it. You've got to believe it. And you've got to have the discipline to do it. Yeah. These things are not easy. And there's all the other non-writing part of it yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absol- yeah. To make it to the 4th of April that you've yeah. got a thing in your hand. A lot of logistical stuff going on yeah, behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hebrew, Hebrew Young, great to talk to you again. Book published on the 4th of April. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, thank you. Am I OK to leave like my social f- social media for yeah, people yeah, to sure. reach me? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So, yeah, um, you can reach me on Instagram, listeners. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can reach me on Hebrew underscore Young. That's for yeah. Instagram. And it's Hebrew Young, um, one word, on X now. Yeah, twitter.com Twitter, X, yeah. X. So yeah, it's Hebrew.